all right guys what is going on welcome back to red dead redemption i hope you guys are doing okay the last episode when we left off we caught up with the santa and he finally got his comeuppance and we got him killed uh, after that we then went and found our old ally i should say uh, javier escuela we caught up with him and handed him over to the pinkertons so uh, yeah that's what we're up to in the gameplay so far guys if you guys are ready let's jump back into it so uh we're gonna go and see Abraham Reyes, who's on the map. Come on. See what he's got for us. I cannot believe we caught him. Caught him the other day, just banging someone else. I cannot believe what Luisa Luisa sees in him. Yeah. Poor Luisa has no idea what's going on. An appointed time. He just walked. Just walked for him. Rebeldes! Escuchen la melodía de los tambores. Otra vez! Oh, damn. Welcome to Mexico. My brothers and I are just discussing the future of our country. Okay. Let this man go. And who are you, gringo? I'm no one. But unless you want this town to tear you and your boys to shreds, I suggest you let him go. And you think you could tell me what to do, friend? Oh, you should listen to him, friend. Look at that. You want to risk it? <laughs> the American is a drug. <laughs> if I were you, I would... I would pull that trigger. Put the gun down, Americano. Ya, ya, mátalo. Dejen mi hombre. Oh, oh Luisa. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So you want to settle this now, friend? Or you want me to shoot you in the head right now for that poor girl? Okay, but we fight like men, not like dogs. Oh, I've gone that to this already. <laughs> I've literally forgotten how to do this already. Oh. Damn. Thanks, my brother. Now the people are finally ready. Today we overthrow the coronel. Senor, there are prisoners in jail who will fight on our side. Can you save them? Some of my best men are held in Allende's jail. They will be a great help to us. Go to the jail. Let's go. Whoa. Oh, which one over this way? Oh, it's following him then. Go. Boom. Come on. Boom, boom. Mate, it's been a while since I played this. It's just... I've completely forgot the controls already. Can I borrow this brick? Senor, let us free. We will help you. Shoot the locks for the prisoners. Let's go, my friends. Reyes is getting ready to attack Linde's mansion. 
Stand back. Oh, what? How, how did that miss? Que Dios te bendiga, amigo. Ahora ayudamos a Abraham. Get back to Reyes. Come on. Seriously, mate. It's a blind fire. We can use gunpowder to blow the door open. Wait while we get everything into position. Let's go, let's do this. Do not shoot the powder kegs until Ray's men are clear. Ahora, hermano, shoot the barrels. Uh huh. Nice. Give it up! 
car there somewhere. Let's see if we can get some more ammo from these guys. That's what we should have done, just got the gun and Come on. They're gonna be coming any minute. Oh my god! Quick, 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 quick! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> Damn it! Make my eyes warm, mate. <laughs> Never liked it. Vámonos! Date prisa, cabrón! To the horses, compadre! You cannot let them get away! I'll hunt you to hell and back! Oh, what? Who made this staircase? This one. Oh, we gotta go this one. Oh my god. Oh, was it? I thought it was going that way. Come on. Right. Was going to yeah, the blue. I was going to the blue dot. I knew I was, I knew it was going the right way. Right, let's go. Yeah. What is going on with his horse? He's like tired. He's like. This horse is not running. 
Oh my word, come on. Come on. Is this horse? Is he injured? He's not. Come on, come on. Best. What is going on with this horse, man? Come on. Oh, man. Oh, man. I promise. Mm. Oh. You always was weak minded. Oh my god, we got killed. You're the one who let Dutch drive you insane. Dutch wanted you dead. We all did. Well, I'm going after him next. I'll outlive all of you. You always was a traitor. You bastard orphan. <laughs> and you always was a dumb inbred hick. Esta noche duermo en tu cama, cabrón. Oh my days. No, let me go. Hell no. What did he do? I done him as well. I don't let you touch. Mexico is mine. <laughs> so he killed Bill. Hold oh, down. My people are free, and it is all thanks to you, Joe. And to the people who laid down their lives. People like Louisa. Oh, yes. Mm. She, she was very brave, and she will be missed. Not by you. Was you were sleeping with someone else. Your peasant girl wife-to-be? Oh, yes, of course. She, she will have a day named after her. Laura's day. <laughs> oh, my Louisa. God. What? Oh, yes, I, I knew Laura as well. Magnificent girl, like riding a pompous bull it was, amigo. You never oh saw my anything God. like it. Anyway, enough about sport. Let's get back to politics. I trust you will join us in riding on the capital. I'd love to, but with Williamson dead, my jailers need me back in Blackwater. Hey, que hacen? Levantense. Well, I must say, I'll miss you, John Marston. I doubt you'll even remember me, Abraham, but it's been an experience. Good luck with the revolution. If you win power, remember why you wanted it. Mm. Well, travel safely, amigo. Moon. Damn. Boy. Oh, what? It's not ready for that, man. Oh, yeah, I just killed them. Who's that? Oh! No way. I just thought we were going to be mission over. My head just mission over, getting shot at. Right. 
Oh, we got gold white there. Damn, yeah, black wall. Agent Ross. It certainly looks different than the one in Red Dead Redemption 2. Bear one another's burdens. Mr. Ross? 107. 109. Edgar Ross. 113. Upstairs on the right. 114. 115. 116. 117. Mr. Marston, hmm. so glad to see you. How was your journey? Where's my wife and son? Being well looked after. Well looked after. I want to see him. Mr. Ross wants to speak with you. We've had some important developments. You want me to take out a gun and blow a fucking hole in your head <laughs> right here? <clears throat> right now? You want that? Mr. Marston. You want that? Mr. Marston, I ask you to calm down. Why? Why? I did what you asked. I got you Williamson and Escuela. It's over. Stop playing games with me. Mm. No one's playing games with you, Mr. Marston. But if we were to play some games, there'd be some interesting ones we could play. Thanks, sir. Like hanging you for murder, or confiscating all your property, like that little farm of yours, or, or having you put in an electric chair. Those are the sort of games we could play. But we choose to play a different game. So calm down and play along with us. Where's my wife? <laughs> you know, I forget, but I hear it's very nice this time of year. <sighs> Mr. Marston, please, I've never insulted your meager intelligence. Do not insult mine. We've done this little deal for your freedom in exchange for all your men from your old gang. You gave us Williamson and Escuela. We still don't have Vanderlyn, but now we know where mm. he is. Then go and shoot him. No, sir. I want you to shoot him for me. And then I'll let you be. The last thing I want to do is make martyrs out of all these people. He could be killed by some petty squab or by another lowlife. <laughs> we believe Vanderlyn just holed up with a group of renegades near the wreck of the Serendipity Riverboat. Ah, <sighs> yes. Another group of renegades. Obviously, the first group, your group, has shall we say, been disbanded? <laughs> <laughs> disbanded. Anyway, Mr. Ford and Mr. Marston, shall we go? Oh, Mr. Marston, your wife and son are, are doing well. Let's both try to ensure things stay that way. Okay? After you, sir. Mm. Oh, Mr. Marston, one more thing. This is for you. You're too kind. See, I have nothing but your best interest at heart. Let's hope it doesn't go off by mistake. <laughs> 343. Three. I, I have a patent for that, sir. This is an outrage. <laughs> oh, Mr. Marston. <laughs> You're alive. 
Hello, Wes Dickens. <laughs> Thought you were headed to Peking. Um, so did I. So did I. A long story. But now it seems I'm being put under arrest and charged with narcotic possession or some other such nonsense. Ross, have him release this man. Why? Because he's a harmless old fraud, the kind of man that built this country. And because he helped me get Williamson. Did you hear that, officer? The man's a hero. Let him go. Come on, Marston. Moral degeneracy waits for no man. Let's hurry along. Three forty-four. Three forty-five. Three forty-seven. Three forty-eight. Three. Hey. Head for the wreck of the serendipity, Mr. Fordham. Hello. How are you, sir? <clears throat> Isn't this something? Lawmakers and lawbreakers working together for the good of civilization. Like you always say, sir, the higher the stakes, the smarter you have to play the game. I can't imagine I ever said anything quite so trite. In any case, I'm not sure Mr. Marston would agree with us. Unfortunately, Mr. Marston isn't broad-minded enough to appreciate the unique opportunity we're offering him. Son of a whore. You best watch your damn mouth! And it's strange you should say that, Mr. Marston, because according to my files, you are the whore's son. Now, what else can I recall from the files? Oh, let's see. You killed hundreds of innocent people. You robbed at least 40 banks that we're aware of. They told us there was a prize when you got to 50. I'm glad this is all such a joke to you. I want my family. And I'm sure all the men you murdered wanted their families, too. Come now. You're stupid. But you're not that stupid. We both know how this has to be. And it could be all over today. As soon as we find Dutch Vanderlyn, you can go back home and... Play being a farmer again, or whatever else you've been pretending to do for the last few years. First it was Bill, now it's Dutch. After Dutch, it'll be somebody else. Where does it end? It ends when we say it ends. You're in no position to make demands. Like you will. You don't just walk away from that. Buy a few chickens and make it all disappear. You should be dead or rotting in a jail cell by now. We are giving you a chance at new life. A chance at redemption. You can't erase your past, Mr. Marston, but we can. She's running well, sir. Such an elegant way to travel. What do you think of this automobile, Mr. Marston? Slow, but so convenient and reliable. Are you comfortable? No. You see this, Mr. Fordham? <laughs> the brooding cowboy. There aren't many of these left, you know. A bit of a cliche, admittedly. But still a dying breed, like the buffalo. Just as dumb, but not quite as noble. They move most cows by rail these days, I hear. Not where I'm from, they don't. But you aren't from anywhere. A new dawn is breaking, Mr. Marston. This is the age of the machine. And soon, we'll all be living on the moon. Maybe. This is the future. Anything is possible. Finally, this godforsaken land is entering the 20th century. Prosperity has arrived. In the form of assholes like you. It's not far now. The old serendipity wreck has been used as an occasional criminal hideout for years. We were informed that Vanderlyn and his gang are making camp there. We'll stop on the cliff above, and you and Agent Fordham will go on foot. I'll stay with the vehicle and keep watch. And you'll do as I say, Marston. Don't try anything stupid. Oh, I think he knows what's at stake. Don't you, Mr. Marston? Let's find Dutch and finish this. Wreck of the Serendipity. Right, let's go, Mr. Marston. Keep quiet and stay close. Yes, sir. Vanderlind is the priority. We go in, take him down, and get the hell out of here. Quick and clean. You leave Dutch to me. We don't want you getting that suit dirty. <laughs> if you step out of line, even once, well, I hope you're aware of the consequences.
I don't think Dutch is going to be in here. Seems real quiet, don't you think? Yeah. You tell me. Maybe Dutch caught wind of things. That informant better not have been lying to us. Keep your eyes open. They are open. I don't see nothing. It doesn't feel right. This place is usually teeming with lowlifes. I'm being booby trapped this place. Oh. There's someone out there. You go investigate. I'll keep watch here. What? That's not a deal. Upstairs, let's go up. Let's go this way. No, where's the stairs, man? In the other end, but I have no idea where it is, right? Where is it? Oh, well, come. There's a little puzzle then. Oh my god. Over here! I found him! Good god, that's her informant. Gnostics, what the hell's going on here? It's a trap! Shit, Marston! You'll have to carry this man! I don't think he can walk! Oh my god. Come on, we need to get him to safety! Come on, come on! Move! I can't see anyone! Oh, get him away! People are just standing there. Alright, oh, let's go. Like, I walked all through that boat, like, My there were be... Where were they hiding then? Over there! You puny sidewinder. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Right, down we go. Come on. Follow me. You won't get away with this. Oh, mate, move out of my way. 
you are such an idiot, man. Oh. This guy, I'm gonna end up shooting him because getting my wife. Nice. I've taken the most awkward route here. <laughs> Oh my god. Marston, lift this fellow into the back seat. Put him in the car so we can get out of here. Let's go, there might be more of them. Of course there's gonna be more of them. Christ alive! What the hell happened down there? It was a trap. They were waiting for us. And who is this savage? A prisoner? This is the informant, sir. Do you speak English? Uh, uh yes he does, sir. He's the informant. Don't get snarky with me, Fordham. We found him tied up on the boat. Then they jumped us. Nice of you to help us out. Hell of a plan sending in two men to take on an entire gang of outlaws. Especially when one of them's an office clerk, or social secretary, or some such. You shut your mouth! Petrol Come on, not now. Or just What's engine wrong? Dog. I don't know. The motor just gave out. Well, fix it, you fool. We need to get this man to a doctor. Of course, sir. It's Dutch's men. Marston, we'll hold them off. Hold them, we'll fix that damn engine. Hmm. Come on. Try that again. Stay with me.
Mach sie rum. Uh. Nice. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't do that first time around. I can't see any more of them. Fordham, are we ready? Yes, sir, I think so. Come on, let's get back to Blackwater. Damn, that was close. We're lucky to be alive. I'm beginning to see why Mr. Marston here has made it to such a ripe old age. You make me blush with all these kind words. <laughs> so much for this automobile of yours. If this is the future, God help us all. It's not the automobile. A bad workman shouldn't blame his tools. Perhaps if Mr. Fordham maneuvered it with a little more finesse... I was trying to escape an ambush, sir. Even if it was running fine, they'd still have caught us. I can walk faster than this piece of crap. Give me a horse any day. So what now? Do I get to see my family? Where is Dutch Vanderlyn? I don't know. In that case, old boy, no, you don't get to see your family. It's a fairly simple agreement, Mr. Marston, even for a man as devoid of intellect as yourself. If you'd like me to explain it to you again, I'd be more than willing. No, you said enough. We'll find Vanderlyn soon enough. For now, however, I suggest we call it a day. So how does it feel, taking a man's wife and child from him? Does it make you feel good? How does it feel to kill hundreds of men in cold blood? You're a coward. You're a murderer. Actions have consequences, Mr. Marston. Come now, try to look on the bright side. The bright side? There ain't no bright side. Your family is enjoying a much-needed vacation and in far more luxurious surroundings than those to which they are accustomed, I assure you. Soon you will be able to start a new life together absolved of all your sins. I can think of far more upsetting alternatives. We should take the ending to Professor McDougal, see what he can get out of him. Good idea, sir. I just can't communicate with them. Here we are. Thank God for that. So... This is the office of an anthropologist named McDougal. He was thrown out of Yale for a degeneracy. We should tell you something. Indeed, but he's been helping us deal with the natives in this area. They see him and they presume we're all idiot academics. Huh? Give me a hand here, Marston. Ah, Mr. Ross, uh, Mr. Fordham? Good day, good day. What on earth's going on here? Kid got shot in the leg. Beat up pretty good. We'll send a doctor now. McDougal, mm -hmm. uh, we need information from this fellow about Dutch Vanderland. Can you see what you can find out for us? Do my best, sir. Make sure you do. Mm. Professor McDougal has been a good friend of the U.S. government, Mr. Marston, just like you. Why don't you see if you can help him in his study of the native problem in this county? That's a good fellow. Hmm. All right, guys, I think we're going to end that episode there. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel if you like, and I'll see you guys in the next one.